y'all, I'm Sheila J, and welcome to the Diva Dish. This episode is all about Project Runway Season 19. We're at Episode 9, The Last Straw. We're getting to the last straws, y'all. We're at 10 last week, and then there were 8. Get ready. We lost Octavio and Zayden last week. Christina was our conquering hero and winner. Of course, there are no more immunities. It's really anybody's game at this point. Everybody is so super talented. Left, we have Praje, Bones, Anna, Chantal, Aaron, Coral, Chastity. All right, let's get to this challenge. Okay, so the episode opens up. We're at the townhouse. And everybody's really reeling from what actually happened last episode. I mean, everybody's gotten very close. You know, they started out with 16. Now they're down to eight. Baby Anna was in tears. Coral was like, holy shit, I was at the bottom, you know, and everybody's so good. And, you know, she's feeling like Octavio, you know, and Zayden was her BFF, you know what I mean? It's, it's hashtag shooketh at the house. Moving on. So everybody's very somber, the mood is very melancholy in the house, and they get a text from Christian saying, you know, you've made it to the final eight, you're at the halfway point because you started with 16, go to the bar next door to your apartment, and bottoms up, mimosas on me, baby. Boom. Moving on. Project gives me very big mama vibes. Project said, Christian ain't inviting you nowhere to get no drink, chair. Moving on. Everybody's at the bar, bottoms up, having a good time, key, key, clink, clink, clink. Then Brandon and Christian walk in. And Brandon gives everybody a little history lesson on the cocktail dress. It's only 100 years old. It was invented because women were finally drinking in public. Oh my God, so this challenge is like the Pulp Fiction of challenges because they're grabbing their materials before they sketch. Okay, so let's talk about this challenge. It is a two-day challenge. They are to make a cocktail dress for the modern woman. Models are randomly assigned. They get 20 minutes in this mad grab. Project's like, ain't in here. And Christian's like, there's plenty behind me. There's a storage room, a kitchen, pillows, tablecloths, lots of things to create from. Of course, we know now, this is the unconventional materials challenge. No trip to mood. Two day challenge, let's get into it. During this mad grab, it was straight up Lord of the Flies, okay? Or Yellow Jackets, that little show that's on Showtime, I wanna review, it looks really crunk. But yeah, Aaron was like, calm down. No, you calm up, Aaron, okay? <laughs> you playing, moving on. Okay, so we know that Aaron has been repeatedly noted from Christian that he can go very matronly, very grandma. Okay, so he's like, I'm gonna be original in my thoughts and my grab. So he's like, I wanna do fringe because I wanna do stirrers. I want to make a nod to the 20s. He specifically said, uh, Make a cocktail dress for the modern woman. Right. I'm gonna pray for you. Moving on. Praje, you are so talented and so hood. And there was champagne there. I'm sorry. There's a bottle in my bag too. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, so everybody gets to the workroom and you know, they've got these big blue bags full of all the stuff that they got from the bar. Literally don't know what I'm gonna do. Which I can imagine is probably common with unconventional challenges unless you see a shape that really inspires you. It's all about the practical application of these unconventional items, that is why it's called the challenge. Moving on. Now Chantal, we're in the workroom, of course, this, you know, it's go time. So this is day one. And Chantal has these black straws and she's like doing like, I guess like maybe three inches in between the roads. It's looking like a basket. It's looking dope. I'm excited, moving on. All right, I'm also in love with Praje's look. He took a lot of the vinyl off of the booths in the restaurant. It's like a cream yellowy color. And he's taking those paper dollies. And you know how it's gonna look Ugh, exotic and beautiful. I can't wait. Moving on. Cha. When I saw Chastity at first, I'm like, girl, you look like you're on cell block D somewhere. What are you doing? But she's melting these spoons to make flowers. I love her sketch. 
it does look promising, but I'm concerned. Moving on. Let me just say, I'm loving the direction everybody is taking. Um, Christina, who is, of course, brilliant. She's a two-time winner. She's using, she's making like this recycled sequin. And she's melting. She looks like she don't sell by D2, child, with chastity. But she's melting these, I don't know, spoon stirs, whatever. Yeah, and then she's cutting the tops to these to-go ramekins. So excited. Moving on. Once again, Praje is straight big mama. Anna is crying. Why, why are you crying? I'm crying. But right now I need you to work on this. Yep. Moving on. Okay, yeah. So Christian comes in. Hello. He's like, how's everybody doing? Crickets. Okay. What's happening? This has got to be the hardest challenge, seriously. Because, okay, yeah, you got your concept, but do you have enough materials? So, of course, that was the resounding question. So, Chantal's asking Coral, do you have enough straws? You don't use all your black straws. Can I have them? And Coral's like, you're doing straws, too? Then she looks around the room. And I saw Aaron working with the straws. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my gosh, everyone is using straws. Moving on. So Christian comes up to Coral first, very tentatively. He's like, you okay, girl? And she's like, well, um, yeah, everybody's using straws. So he's looking through her materials, finds these trash bags, inspires her with her macrame, because you know, that's her thing. But the judges love it, so roll with, you know, it ain't the time to be, it is the time to be experimental, but not too experimental. Moving on. Okay, so like I said, Anna is in her bag, bed. And Christian comes around, he's like, what you doing? And basically she's got foil molded over the bust of her mannequin or her dress form or whatever. And girl, that is not the move. Oil, is all I keep hearing. <laughs> Joan Rivers from Spaceballs, okay? It's not gonna be cute. Christian was like, look, okay, like, snap out of it type moment, like you're in your head. Yeah. No. Moving on. All right, so Christian's in the room again. He gets around to Christina. He's, you know, totally in love with where she's going. She's confused about his, I'm mean, sorry, her um, base for the sequin. What's gonna, you know, hold it all together. And, you know, Christian is so good at like putting them back on track or helping them find that missing link. It's like he leads them there, it's brilliant. Moving on. So he goes around to Chastity. He loves where she's going. You know, gives her a little juice and does the same with um, Bones. Loves where he's going. Praje, he was trying to see it. I think you have to make sure that this doesn't look really, like, crafty. Um, I made a suggestion that he should do, because, you know, Praje loves his spray paint, you know, his spraying, his, all this stuff. I mean, it's done him well you know the one outfit he did not paint which was the one from last you know episode um he had a really low you know he was in the bottom job yeah moving on oh my god it was so sweet so anna went on about you know they left um it was the end of the day they're back at their townhouse everybody's having wine kiki and chilling out decompressing and anna was like you know i was an only child my parents weren't allowed to have more than one child. That is real. Just why she bonded to Octavio, so we'll let her cry. She pulled it together. Sweet. Beautiful story. Moving on. Oh my God. Okay, so, you know, everybody's decompressing still, and they hear these, you know, things going off. You know, I heard them too tonight. It's because of the holidays. Anyway, so yeah, there's this. I love her. This beautiful fireworks display. Ah, oh, she's gorgeous. Okay. So, you know, the next day it's showtime. And if you stay to the end of the episode, I do show all the looks from this episode. Hopefully we only lose one. Last episode we lost two. That was dramatic. Let's get into it. Okay. So, um, the models come in, Christian is going around seeing how everybody fares. The ones that give the big eh, 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 chastity has a lot to do. You know, she's the queen of bead. And yeah, 
Praje, the fit is not quite it. And a lot to do with these doilies. It's gonna add more volume. He's got a full figure, beautiful girl. We'll see. And then Anna, she's got a footing today. She's feeling better. She's in, you know, better spirits. Everybody is singing. It's on my nerves. It's on Aaron's nerves. Less singing, more gluing and sewing. Thank you. Moving on. All right, so it's show day and it's tense. Everybody is really working to the very last second. You're actually an insane person. You've got to paint this dress. You have 30 minutes. Chastity's having, you know, issues with it being too short. The slit is too high and I'm not putting her down the runway where they can see any of her goodies. Prachet's having issues, you know, he's like, this looks like lace. And Christian was like... And fresh and delicate, white. It's a doily dress. Yeah. Chantala only had enough time for one sleeve, but it looks like maybe she pulls a rabbit out of a hat. All right, let's see what these judges said, y'all. So, okay, the guest judge is a wonderful, new, very popular, he dressed... Um, Vice President Kamala, and um, he's dressed Lady Gaga. His name is Christopher John Rogers. Yes, young, up and coming, new, and of course we got our regular, you know, fabulous ones, Elaine, Brandon, and Nina. All right, so let's get into the ones that they loved. Oh my God, okay, so it's so tense. The judges were so impressed. Y'all, when y'all see all these looks, they did not come to play, okay? And the two that I'm worried about are two of my favorites. I love Anna and Parche, I love him to death. <sighs> okay. Mm. All right, so Bones and Coral are safe. They had two of the baddest dresses. I feel like Chantal won. Let's see. All right, so the first look they bring out is Aaron, baby. I was not in love with his look, but it was impeccably made, no doubt about it. And he ran it down, 1,000 straws, uh, dish towels, yeah. Amazing, moving on. Oh my God, okay, so shocker. And I like Chastity's dress. But Brandon said, this next look got very crafty. Chastity's look, oh my God. <gasps> the pressure, moving on. <sighs> okay, I have never been moved to tears by fashion, but Chantal's dress is so insane. Tears. Siriano save was worth it. Ah, amazing. Moving on. Whew. So the next look they're bringing out is Prache. Mm. It's not his best look, not his finest hour. Oh, so thus far we got Anna, Chastity, and Prage in the bottom. Chantal and Aaron in the top. Yeah, Christina's look, it was amazing. It was modern, it was fashion forward, it was feminine, it was, it was gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Like, Zoe Kravitz going to that club in the Matrix. Perf. Trinity, maybe something Trinity will wear in this new one. Please, please let it be good, y'all. All right, so, ooh, it's tight. So before we announce this winner, child, we got in the top, Christina, Chantal, Aaron. We got Praje, Chastity, Anna. Okay, oh my God, I got goosebumps. Yeah, Chantal was the winner. I don't know why I'm so emotional. But yeah, Chantal won. I mean, y'all, her dress was 
like black swan perfection. Of course, Christina is safe. Um, Aaron is safe. Whew, in the bottom we got Prajay and Chastity. Let's see. Jay went home. It makes me sad. But that's why this season is so amazing. Because these designers are so freaking cool. Like, yeah, there's been drama, but it's been authentic. If they get over it and move over to, you know, where for this money, baby. Okay, and uh, yeah, so and then there were seven. All right, y'all, so the winner was Chantal and Franche with his beautiful spirit, his beautiful, just ethic, just a beautiful person. I will miss you. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.